up, Young Hollywood? Today we're with a very special guest. We're with Callie Haverdock from the hit Netflix show, That 90 Show. Hi, Callie. Hi, thank you so much for having me. Are you so happy to be here with Young I Hollywood? I am. I'm so happy to be here. The weather's amazing. It's like a fantastic atmosphere. Good very vibes. Excited. Good vibes exactly. all around. Okay, so first things first, we just need to know. When you booked That 90 Show, how has your life changed since then? Oh my gosh. I feel like it's funny because whenever I think about my time working on the show, everybody was like, your life is going to completely change. And I didn't really notice very many changes until I think after the show came out. So <laughs> a big, big thing is people have started noticing me when I'm just like out and about. They'll come up to me and be like, are you on that 90s show? Like, are you Leia? Um, and nobody knows my actual name. They're always just like, oh, that 90s show, Leia. Um, last night, my mom and I went and got Olive Garden, and we oh, did like God. the online order pickup. And the girl that came to the car to give us our food, <laughs> she came up to the window, and I was telling her because I got our, we got our food, and then they forgot to put our breadsticks in, so we oh, went back. Not the breadsticks. <laughs> it was a different girl. They're the most important part. Yeah. And it was a different girl, and she came up to the window, and she was like. I was like explaining to her, I was like, hey, sorry, like we didn't get our breadsticks. And she was just staring at me. And I like looked at her and she was like, are you on TV? And we had like a big conversation and she was like, I didn't know because of your hair and like all this stuff. So that's a really big change is just being noticed in public by people that I don't know. And like I went to Universal and a really sweet group of girls were just like yelling my, my actual name for once, which was sweet. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's the biggest thing I can think of. Isn't the, is that insane to you? Like, it's kind of like a hard concept to digest. That it really it, like, is. People are watch you on Netflix. And, and you're just also like, just that they recognize me, you know? Yeah. Because whenever I think about it, it's like, okay, they see me as Leia. But then when I'm just like out in my pajamas at like the nail salon, nobody's going to be like, oh, I know her. And like just random people I've never met before. It's insane. Yeah. What were your expectations? Did you have any knowing? Like, because Netflix shows blow up. <laughs> and I asked Ashley and Max this because we had mm -hmm. them on Young Hollywood. Was there any expectation that you had? I think in the beginning, when I first got the audition, I definitely was like, this is such an iconic show that we're bringing back. And um, to have all the original cast coming back as well, like it, it's a huge deal. And I definitely knew that when I was going through the audition process. And then on set having, you know, we have all the same hair and makeup um, from the original show and they were constantly reminding us every day they're like this show's gonna be huge like it was such a hit back then and it's gonna be a hit now and um, I don't know it's still so surreal to me I didn't I had expectations because yeah. people were telling me but it was at the same time hard for me to believe because at the time we were all just you know on a studio and Hollywood, just yeah. like doing and no what one really we love. Knew. Like exactly. the world didn't really know your film. We were like, like that. everyone's like, you're gonna get a season two, but we were all like, ah, don't want to get our hopes <laughs> don't up. Don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. Now we do know though that we have season two. So and I, is it your first interview since season two has it been is. announced? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so we were so. like, oh, we're her, we need to talk about it season two because <laughs> yes. you know you haven't talked about it yet. Mm -hmm. Are you excited for that? Of course. What were you doing when you got the call, or did you find out with the regular public? Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> it's actually really funny. Um, Greg, so we have a group shot with all of the kids and Greg the showrunner and Mandy an executive producer, Mandy Summers. And we, they had scheduled a Zoom call. They were like, hey guys, just wanna like check in, like have a conversation, we're gonna do a Zoom call. And we scheduled for the time and I actually had tutoring like right before the Zoom call. I was like, oh, sorry, I can't do this time. <laughs> they were like, you have to be there. And I was like, okay. And as soon as we got that text, Mace actually messaged us in our private group chat with just yeah. the kids and he was like, do you think this is about season two? And we were all like, no, it's too early. Like, There's we're no not way. ready for There's this. No we're not way. prepared. Um, and then we've done Zoom calls in the past. So this one was different because Mandy waited until we were all in the waiting room to let us in at once. And I literally, I recorded a video of myself before I joined the <laughs> Zoom. And I was like, this is so suspicious, you guys. Yeah. Um, and then we got into the Zoom call and everybody was there like, Marcy Carsey, um, Lindsay, uh, like just everybody was everybody, there. Yeah. Um, and so I was like, okay, like th There's this is about, we, we, we knew by then. Um, and then they told us and we, we cheered and talked and yeah, it was just, it Isn't was it amazing. crazy though, you just hang up Zoom and you're like, Exactly. After you just go back to normal li normal life. Exactly. And you're just like, wait a sec. Like, well, we just got it was new. funny because after after I got the call, I I went out of my bedroom and I opened my door and my mom and dad were both standing there with their cameras <laughs> recording me and I was like, we got a season two. 
<laughs> Wait, did they know? Did mom and dad know? Well, I mean, we had had conversations about it. We yeah. were like, this is just suspicious. You know, it's kind of about that time where we'd find out. So we had slight expectations. Um, yeah. And then they were just standing by my door listening probably ready. the whole time. They were, they they were, were prepared. Ready. Eavesdropping. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Do you know when that's filming? Um, no, we don't have, don't like, have an official calendar yet. yet. Yeah, not yet. Hey, but you're, hopefully you guys soon. Too. You're good. Yes, you're we're good. good. You know I'm, just, I'm living the life until we find out. <laughs> okay, so there's pictures in front of you. Okay. As you can see. Yes. <laughs> you don't know what the pictures look like. She hasn't even looked at them. I have We're going to do the picture game. Okay. So the pictures are related to you. We can flip them over. Okay. And you'll pick them oh up. Oh, my gosh. I know. <laughs> this is just you. This is you. This is Mace. We love that. Okay. Okay. So this is obviously you, a little collage of your Instagram and you mm -hmm. if you Google you. Okay. Love that. Have you Googled awesome. yourself? I have. Guilty. And I've read all the articles that have like complete misinformation yep. about me. But What's one thing that's mis misunderstanding about you? One about thing that? is actually my birthday that you mentioned in the last interview. On like famous yes, birthdays. Yes, you watched it. You watched the I watched the interview. <laughs> um, I was like, we're going to show Kelly this. <laughs> it's... My birthday is February 21st. Okay, but I we on, just Googled before okay, you got here. Because and it says February 22nd. All over <laughs> online, it's February 22nd. And I have yeah. no idea where they got that from because it's like, I never told anyone my birthday was the yeah. 22nd. Um, so famous birthdays needs to fix that. <laughs> Everyone is, no one's going to wish you happy birthday on February 21st. I know. 21st. They'll, they'll wish it's me a all, day late. Yeah. So we're going to change your birthday. Awesome. Actually. We're going to change it. Yeah. But you're sweet 16. Yes. It's in Do like a week. It's, it's very close. Yes, the very 21st close. on the 22nd. But do you have plans for your sweet 16? Yeah, I actually, I've been planning. I want to have this kind of um, like 60s French Wes Anderson vibes. Um, we rent out at a loft and just like inviting my closest friends yeah. to have like a kind of dinner party type feel. Um, and some of my friends from Texas are actually flying in, so I'm super excited about that. We'll check that. in with the 60s versus the 70s and the 90s. Oh my gosh, <laughs> yes. Okay. Every year. Sure. You just live every year in your life. Seriously, every <laughs> decade is fantastic. I feel like I go through a phase like each month. I'm like, okay, this decade's better. <laughs> okay, so is there any that's catching your eye to grab? Um, this one. Your cover <laughs> shoot, Miss Girl did a cover. You just I came did. from a photo shoot too. I did, yeah. You're just like photo shoot galore. All the time. I love them though. I'm obsessed. Okay, so you hold it. Okay. What was it like shooting your cover girl? Oh my gosh. It was so much fun. You I look mean, good in all the photos. Thank you so much. You I'm yeah, I'm obsessed with these photos. Everybody after I made my post on my Instagram, everybody was like DMing me and they were like, You're giving Patrick Bateman, which <laughs> I'm like so happy about. Love. Um to some extent. Like Patrick Bateman, but it's still, I really, I'm obsessed with this raincoat. That's like the whole reason. Did you get to keep anything? I didn't, sadly, yeah, but. They, oh, you always have to keep Yeah, back. but I'm. Short lived, but. I'm gonna go shopping. Cover. I'm just gonna buy this whole outfit. Um, yeah, I mean, it was so much fun. I had only done one photo shoot before then, I'm pretty sure. Um, so I was, I was like nervous at first because I feel like anytime I do a photo shoot, I overthink um, my poses yeah. and I always end up just like standing <laughs> awkwardly. Um, but it was such a great group of people that helped me like hair and makeup. Everybody was just yeah. so lovely. Um, and Carly, the photographer, was just like, you are eating it up, girl, like just hyping <laughs> hey. me up the whole time. Um, so it was it was a really good shoot. Yeah. Well, again, the pictures turned out bomb. Thank so you. So you're great. <laughs> OK, next one. Um, let's do this one. OK. <laughs> love, love, love. Oh, wait. You might have come too with that one. Okay. Tell, tell the camera the story behind that one. Okay. So <laughs> this one, this is me and my brother. Also taken from my Instagram, I believe. Yes. Um, it's funny. <laughs> so when this was during filming, and my brother lives in Seattle, Washington. Um, so he had to, he flew in to like view a live taping of the show. But I'm pretty sure this was when we filmed episode three. Because, um, because Wilmer was there and he made... Shez Fez t-shirts and brought them to set um, and I wanted to post this really bad but I was like spoilers so I right. went onto Instagram and I drew over my t-shirt so you couldn't see the Chez Fez logo um, and they still let you post yeah they did Love luckily that. and so yeah it's just on like the studios that's the studio behind us and yeah it was a very fun time I was so glad that my brother got to come in and watch a show yeah and speaking of episode three, that was the one that you had the kissing yes. situation. Yes. Okay, so is your, was your first kiss on that 90s show? It was, yeah. 
Did you ever think about that Mila and Ashton's first kiss was oh my gosh. on that 70s show? Yeah, I think Mary? it was <laughs> mentioned a lot for sure. It was like a lot of people would mention that. They'd be like, this is your first kiss. It's like you're reliving history. Um, yeah, but, but that's weird though. It is. You know what I mean? Like the it concept is of like how their first kiss. Yeah, it's like exactly. And, like, and Mila again. and I were like basically the same age. Um, my, my kiss was not with Mace though, who yeah. I kissed multiple times in the show with Jay, but it was with this really sweet boy, Julian, who I actually knew before we worked on the show together, which was you crazy. Knew him? Yes. So I, I knew that the kiss was coming up. Like yeah. Greg had told us, he was like, you're kissing You're someone kissing next someone. episode. <laughs> um, so I got the script a little bit earlier than the rest of the cast because they wanted to make sure I was like okay with all the content and like right. the kissing and stuff. Um, and Greg also gave me a call and he was like, this is who you're going to be kissing. And he told me, Julian. And I was like, I literally know that kid. <laughs> I, know <this> kid. <laughs> I had met him through like mutual friends before, but then after that we hung out like multiple times yeah. and like, yeah, we're good friends. That's crazy. Like yeah. small world. It was weird. I was like, that's hey. so strange. We were, and it was, I'm pretty sure it was his first kiss too. So we were like, <laughs> so we're experiencing this together. <laughs> oh my, well that's so iconic. Mm -hmm. Like that's, oh, we love that. Okay, next one. Mm, let's, I'm gonna like go down I can't here. believe you knew him. That's crazy. Okay. Yes. It's the premiere. Premiere, premiere night. Premiere moment. You looked great again, obviously. Thank you so much. Whole gang is there. Yes, everyone looked fantastic. Were you nervous? Like, how do you prep for, like, being in front of everybody? Like, even the live tapings on the show. Yeah. Like, I mean, what was more nerve-wracking? So, for the premiere, I had been, luckily, invited to a couple different premieres um, before the show released. So, I was kind of, like, a little bit used... Exactly. I was a little bit used to it. Um, and I kind of, like... It was still different though because I've never done interviews on the red carpet. So yeah. that was like a big change. Um, but honestly, I mean, I feel like I overthink things and I get really nervous. But then once I'm actually there doing it, I'm like, oh, this is fine. This is fine. I'm like, this is very, I'm very comfortable. Um, and seeing all my castmates too, because I hadn't seen um, Ashley and Mace in like months. It had yeah. been like six months because they don't live in Los Angeles. So. Um, it was the first time seeing them in many months and it was fantastic. We were just all back together and yeah, it went by so fast though. It was oh like the night went by very fast, but I, I did a lot of planning for like my hair and outfit. I made Pinterest boards and oh, it was, it was, was a well big planned. night. It was, it was, it was a very big night. Um, but what you said about the live shows, those were horrifying. To I, begin with. I was so I really scared. Couldn't. I'd be like, no, because I've done like a few theater things. Um, when I was younger, I did like just some, theater shows um but this is completely different no, this is a it's like show, yeah it's like, a huge deal and you're also um, like the pressure from that 70s show. exactly like you have exactly. to live up to that yeah and then you have this whole audience of people watching it and just like sitting there like <laughs> waiting for them to laugh like are um, we funny but it was also my very first live show my very first scene that was filmed in front of the live audience was with deborah joe kurtwood yeah. tover and laura so it was a crazy moment um but after that live show, I was never nervous again. Yeah. It was just so you that comfortable. Time out of the way. Exactly. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Props to you for that. Thank Props you. to you for that live Thank taping you. experience. <laughs> okay. So speaking of premieres, we yes. have you at the Wednesday premiere. Yes. This came out like a couple weeks before your show. Yeah. Your show. Mm -hmm. That ninety show. Are you? So everybody loves to know us on Young Hollywood because we interview a lot of Netflix people. Mm -hmm. Are Netflix people friends with Netflix people from other shows? <laughs> um. I mean, I would love to be friends with Not even just Wednesday, but like across the board. So, um, I mean, it really depends. I think if we were sent to like an event together, yeah. then we'd totally be friends. Because um, after our show was released, they had the Free Ridge premiere. Like, yes. it was yeah. a couple weeks ago last week. Um, time is, time is ridiculous is in my mind. No. Um, <laughs> but they had us on the red carpet with the whole Free Ridge cast and it was so amazing and they yeah. were so happy to see us and I was like, I feel like I'm intruding, like this is your big <laughs> night and they were so happy to see us and so lovely. We talked to all of them and met them so, I mean, I can really make friends with anybody so yeah. I'd love to be friends with the whole Wednesday cast with anybody um, in any Netflix show but like, they don't put us in a room together and be like, <laughs> hey, you have to friends. be friends. You're, you're friends. on Netflix. You're part, so, of, yeah. you're part of Netflix. But I also, did you watch Wednesday? I did, yes. Did you it love was it? So good. Yeah. So good. I can't wait for season two. Um, All of you just filming season two? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they're still filming it like out of the country. That'd be crazy. I don't be trying to ask Percy, but 
we, he didn't know either. Mm. Like, just like you don't know yeah. anything yet. You just know. Yeah. You I just, just I'm just like too. living life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's pick a different one. Let's see. Okay. Also, did you, do you, are you like Leia? So this is like a little screen grab from the actual show. Mm -hmm. Screaming internally. Yeah. Netflix posted this on yes, Instagram, actually. It was like a little reel yeah, they posted. Little reel. All the little, like, thought bubbles of Leia were so funny. Um, she's crazy. She is. We love she's her. She's so crazy. Um, she's such a fun character to play because she does the most embarrassing things. And, I mean, I think I am like her to an extent. I feel like, honestly, when I was filming the show, I was much more like her. Yeah. Because I was so... I mean, even though I've been acting since I was six years old, I was very new to this because it's a completely different show, like uh, a lead on a Netflix show <laughs> that's also <laughs> filming in front of a live audience and also has like a crazy legacy to carry. It's completely different from anything I've ever done. Um, and like meeting this whole new group of amazing kids and like I was going through a lot of the same experiences that Leia was going through, so I could totally relate to her. I think over the past year, I've become much more like comfortable in myself and much more confident. Um, so I'm not as much like her, <laughs> but I still am a very awkward person, honestly. If I'm being completely honest, um, I can relate to her still yeah. a lot. Are you sporadic like her? Like a million thoughts all the time? Not as much, not as much. <laughs> I feel like I'm more reserved and like more contained in like my thoughts, but sometimes, oh my gosh, I was at an event yeah. and um, a Stella McCartney and Adidas event and I met Anya Taylor-Joy. Oh. And I felt like Leia in that moment. I couldn't form any words. Yeah, I was right. just standing there and I was like, hi, it's so good to meet you. Um, so that was a total Leia moment. But. Leia came out. She, mm -hmm. was, she was there that night. Literally. She was right with you. Yes, yes. I was getting so starstruck. Like everywhere I looked, there was a celebrity and I was like, oh, I can't even imagine. I should not events. be here. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It was amazing though. But also, okay, so we saw in an interview you did, you said like you had started acting when you were six, but mm -hmm. you were on the verge of almost giving up and not knowing really what you wanted to do with acting, but then you booked that 90 yes. show. That's right, right? Yeah, roughly. Yes. <laughs> How was like, how was that? Were you actually like, what am I doing? Because like a lot of people your age, our age, like no matter how, like what age, if you're chasing something and you don't get that like mm -hmm. moment, it's kind of yeah. like, what am I even doing? Right. So like, were you, what was your mindset? With I that? think, I mean, I definitely was getting a little bit um, unsure because I mean, I think people don't realize how much rejection um, you face when you're an actor. And for me, I had been pinned for 12 projects leading up, like within a year, leading up to booking that 90 show. So I was definitely like, the thing with me though is I think I've always known that I've wanted to act and I always have been a very positive person in like, when the role comes, the role will come and like, it's gonna happen. And my mom is always like anytime when i was auditioning like crazy she was always like it's okay if you want to quit like i completely understand you <laughs> don't okay. have to like continue doing this um and she'd always tell me that which made me feel so good to know that like she's not going to be disappointed in me if i just want to give up um but it's what i want to do for the rest of my life so i i just knew that like something would come around and when i got yeah. the audition for 90s i was like this is this is the this project is yeah. um so, I mean, I was, but I, I've i tried to maintain a very positive mindset. Yeah. And you know, sometimes, like, if you know that's what you want to do, you're going to make sure you do it. Right. Like, right. Period. I'm going to keep doing it until I do it. Yeah. Yeah. What would one project that you'd want to do? Like, Marvel? Would you want to do horror? Oh, my goodness. Crime, like... I, so I'm a really, really big horror fan. Okay. Like, huge horror fan. But I honestly don't know if, like, that's what I'd want to work on. Because I love the just like the unknown of watching horror films, you're like, what's gonna happen? Yeah. And if I'm working on a horror film and it's just like, this isn't scary, <laughs> then whenever I watch horror films, I'll be like, oh, it's not oh, scary. It's yeah, um, which I already kind of have that mindset since I am an actor, but um, I still think it'd be fun. Yeah. Like, I still think it'd be, if you wanna cast me in a horror film, I'd love to <laughs> be open. in it. She's open um, for it. She's down, she's down. Exactly. Anyone watching, exactly. she's down. Netflix even, yes. she's Send me down. Like, come on. Maybe like let's, a gory let's make scene it in season two of that night Yes, show? we did have one actually in the season one though. So when I had my, my paper it. cut. Oh, yeah, more. Yeah, we should gory. have like a, a horror Halloween episode. Yeah. I don't know if that'd be possible in the summer, but. We're gonna make it possible. Yes. We're gonna make it possible. Exactly. So it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> in the episode you had one where they, when you showed up to his door and you were like, he was like, it's not Halloween. Yes, so it's fine. Exactly. They, they make it yeah, work. Yeah, we they could 
Halloween in the summer. Yeah. Well, let's make it happen. <laughs> um, <laughs> but like, I don't know, I think my dream project, I really love dystopian projects and I'm watching The Last of Us right now. Oh, so such good. Such a big show. So good. Um, and something like that, I love apocalypse, like dystopian type things. Um, a project like that would be so fun, but honestly, I'm, I'm really open to anything. Like yeah. I, I just want to like make art that affects people and affects me when I work on it. Um, that's my biggest goal. Yeah. Who would play you in a movie of yourself? Who would you choose? Who would you want to play you? Oh my gosh. That's so difficult. Like me currently <laughs> or like, okay. You currently, Callie, not Leia. Leia is Leia. <laughs> no one's playing Leia. I could play myself at my age, <laughs> um, but I, I don't know. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm trying to think of like people that people have told me I look like. Yeah. Because that'd be good, but I don't know. Oh my gosh, that's so difficult. I think I recently, actually today at the photo shoot I was at, somebody told me that I looked like Suki Waterhouse. And okay. I was like, okay, I don't think she acts, but maybe that would be interesting. <laughs> um, I think, I mean, I'd, I'd die if Anya Taylor-Joy played me, of course. Mm. But Her. I don't know. I could just, they could age me up to play, in, wait, no, to play an older version of myself. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your tor your tortoise is gonna make the movie too. Yeah, she has a he can be guys. the director. We love that. You love reptiles. I do. I really love reptiles. How many animals do you have? I have two dogs, two cats, and one tortoise. We used to have so many more. We used to have lizards. My brother had a tarantula. We used to have fish, hermit crabs, hamsters, guinea pig. It was it you was can a zoo. zoo one day. No, it literally was. <laughs> People would joke. They'd be like, "The Harvard <laughs> Zoo. Like that's your house is a zoo." Okay. Okay, so when you're not in that 90s show, you're not filming, you're not doing school, what is it that Callie loves to do? Oh my goodness. Um, there's so much that I love to do. you fun on your Instagram. Thank you. Like, you can tell. Like, I, you try to, I try to make, like, a, a very welcoming type of Instagram profile. <laughs> Everybody follow me. <laughs> Come this way. <laughs> exactly. It's like you want to stay when you see it. Um, I love to travel. I recently went to Costa Rica and... That was my first time out of the country, so I'm excited to travel more out of the country. Um, I'm a very big writer as well. Like, I've been writing a novel since 2019, uh -huh. so it's been a very long process, but I am almost done with it. What's the novel about? It's complicated. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like a, a crime drama, but also has sci-fi elements to it. There's a lot going on. Yes, There's a lot going but on. it's also very like, just coming of age at the yeah. same time, I guess. Love this. We'll see. It's kind of a mess. Um, I've tried, I've like gone back and rewritten it so many <laughs> times. So That's why it's been since 2019. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Um, and I also, but I also write screenplays. So I, I finished a screenplay a little while ago and I'm starting another one. And so writing is just a very big hobby of mine. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, just laying around, reading a book, um, sleeping. <laughs> At this point, I'll just, I'll just sleep as my just hobby. Just everything you do. <laughs> Eat. <laughs> I, I drink water sometimes, That's occasionally. Crazy. That's only if you're in the mood. Only exactly. Depends. And it has to have cucumber in it. So, note that. Netflix always has cucumber on set for Kelly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much for coming on Young Hollywood. Thank you. It's been so much fun. And getting to know you more. Yes. Than just Leia. And my birthday. Yeah. Hey, guys, <laughs> it's February 21st. So Come if you're on, gonna get, get it right. Your birthday, do it then. Thank you. Okay, well, we love you. Thank you so much. We're going to add you guys to the too. 90s show roster that we've had. Yes. Ashley, Max, mm -hmm. now And Kelly. then you need to get, you need to get everyone rest, else, everybody, too. Everybody come hang. Yeah, everybody, we can do like a everybody. group a group interview. Season That'd be two, so fun. after that comes out, yes. everyone's here. We're, we're already putting it in the calendar. Yep. Netflix, we marked the calendar. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much, Callie. Thank you.